We're going to learn more about time today, but we're going to have to really listen. Remember we talked that a clock has two hands. The first hand we've already looked or learned about, and what is it called? The hour the hand. And remember the word hour is short, so um, the hand is short. But today we're going to learn about the other hand, which is called the minute hand. Minute is a longer word, so my hand is longer. Okay, so, so far we've been talking about time to the hour and then time to the half hour, but now we're going to add our minute hand in there. Do you know what the minute hand means? How many minutes you have to wait? Okay, it's the minutes. Very good. So we have waited a minute before, just one minute. And how long is a minute? 50 seconds. It's 60 seconds. It's not really that long, is it? Do you think that you could go to the library, check out a book, and come back in one minute? No. No, you couldn't because a minute is pretty quick. But could you write your name on your paper in a minute? Or less? Less. Probably less. Yes. So there are some things. There are some things that you could do in a minute, but there are some things that take longer than a minute. Okay, and we are going to talk about sixty seconds too. Okay, so let's look at this clock first. When I look at a clock, I want to look at my hour hand first. Which one is my hour hand? The short one. You are exactly right because remember, it is a short word, so I need to know that it is short. So I want to look at my hour hand first. By looking at my hour hand, what time is it? One o'clock. One o'clock. You are exactly right. It is one o'clock. The hour hand points to the the one. The minute hand. Which one's the minute hand? The big one. The big one. The minute hand points to the well. So, when it is one o'clock, this is what it looks like with both hands. So, when, um, so the minute hand is going to say o'clock when it points to the twelve. What does the minute hand say? O'clock. When it points to the twelve. Well, you are exactly right. Okay. So, which hand am I going to look at first? You are going to look at the hour hand first because that tells me what hour it is. Does everyone understand? We go from shortest to longest. Okay, so we see that it is pointing to the one. So I say one, and then my minute hand is pointing to the 12, and that says o'clock. So what time is it? One o'clock. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Which hand are we going to look at first? The hour hand. What do you guys notice about this hour hand? What do you notice? It is shorter, but where is it pointing? In between. Okay, it is between those two, so we call that half past. Very good. It is half past one o'clock. So the hour hand is between the one and the two. So when that happens, what did you notice about my minute hand? It's changed. It changed. It, it went, went to six o'clock. Oh, it's not six o'clock. 
when the minute hand points to the six, it is half past. Half past. Okay. Is it half past six though? No. No. We are looking at my. It actually is. No, it is not. You need to listen. It, we look at what hand first? The hour. My hour hand first. And it says half past one. It is half past one o'clock. My six can also say 30. So I can say 130. Okay, look at what time it says on my clock right now. It's half past six. It's half, is it half past six? Half past one. It's half past one. Or I can say 130. Okay, so this is how I'm going to write it. When it is pointing to the six, I'm going to write 30. When it is pointing to the 12, I'm going to write o'clock. Does everyone see that? So those are the two things we need to remember today. When I see um, my minute hand point to the 12, I say, O'clock. When I see my minute hand pointing to my six, I say 30. Okay, that means it is half past. Does everyone understand? Okay.